Hello all, welcome to the official demo of Ultimate POS. In today's demo, we will look into the stock transfer feature that is transferring of stock from one location to another. So if you have a shop and you have a warehouse, then you can easily transfer stock from your warehouse to your particular shop. Or like you have two different shops, then you can transfer stock from one from one shop to another shop. So it's a very useful feature for any kind of retail as well as the wholesale business. So if you are new to Ultimate POS, let me just give you a brief introduction like it's a point of sale system which will help you in stock management as well as it will help you in invoicing application as well as it will help you for your service business like we have list of different businesses where you can use Ultimate POS we have mentioned all the different features which is present in Ultimate POS Next, we have many different features which can help you in retail, wholesale as well as in different service kind of business. Also like we have many different modules available for Ultimate POS. So if I will go to our profile and here you can see all the different modules like the SAS module, WooCommerce, Essential and this Advanced Repair Digital product catalog and menu module as well as we have many different modules available in our official website which is ultimatefosters.com slash shops so let us get started now i will go to the demo here and i will just rephrase this space once again and i will click on this login so after i have logged in let me just go to my settings and let me just create another location I will go to business location here I will create another location so you can see like we I have I already have another location which is location 2 so if you don't have another location you can just create another location by clicking on this add location here and providing all the different fields for this location so we have an so I already have location 2 here so I will go to the list of products and so here in the list of products like you can see we have a column called as business location so with business location like you can assign all the different locations where this where this particular product will be available so like if suppose we consider barilla pasta then it's only available in awesome awesome shop location but if you want it to be available in the location 2 as well so we can check this one we can check all the different products which we want to be in location 2 and like you can click on the add location and here i can like give here i can select the name of the location and click on the save so here you can see like this has been assigned to the location 2 as well so this is the first step so let us go to the stock transfer and I will click on add stock transfer so here I can select the date and time here of the stock transfer here I can give any reference number or like you can keep it as blank if, and it will get automatically generated and here, here you can select the status like if it is pending if it is in transit or if it is completed so if you will select it as pending then it will not get deducted then the stock will not get deducted from location 1 to location 2 but like if you are selecting it as in transit then also like it will not get deducted but if you are selecting it as completed then the stock will get the stock will get like deducted from the location 1 and it will got, get added to the location 2 that is like it will get deducted from your warehouse and it will get added to your shop so here I am selecting the let me just select it as pending and I will select from as the awesome shop and I will select 2 as location 2 I will enter Barilla Pasta over here. So before like transferring the stock from this location, this awesome shop to location 2, let me just check the stock of the product. So I will go to the stock report here and I will just select Barilla Pasta. So you can see like Barilla Pasta, it's available in awesome shop and the current location is 470 packets and like we don't have any stock available in the location 2 so i will just transfer 70 stocks from location 1 from awesome shop to location 2 so here i am giving the quantity at 70 packets and like the unit price is 11 here and like it's it is calculating subtotal i can add any shipping charges here 
I can add any additional notes here and I will just click on the save okay the stock like the stock transfer added successfully so we can like view this stock transfer here from here like it's showing all the complete details here I can take a print out of it I can delete it and I can also as well as I can edit it or like you can see like it's showing the current status as pending let me just so let me just go to the stock report once again and refresh the stock report so you can see like it is pending so like the current stock available in awesome shop is 470 then the stock available in location 2 is 0 so I will just make this status as completed or I will just let me just make it as complete and I will click on the save So like after the stock transfer has been completed like there is no option to edit the stock transfer you can only delete the stock transfer and like you can take a print out of it and you can view the stock transfer so I will just go to the stock report once again and I will okay so like I refresh this screen you can see like it is a so in the awesome shop it is available 40 packets and in the location 2 it is showing me 70 packets so like 70 packets got deducted from the awesome shop and it got added to the location 2 so like you can see you can easily transfer the stock from one location to another so now you can like start selling stock from this location 2 and I can take a print out of it If you find this video useful, please do like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will get back with another video very soon. Thank you.